for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis for a tested forward pair. The guard and off guard, Paul Lillard and Trent. And it's Lopez in at the five. And for Utah, wing pair will be Sexton and Markinen. Then it's George, then it's Collins, and it's Hendricks in at the power forward. Well, Greg, this matchup features two teams that want to slow things down and run their offense in the half court. Yeah, both sides are methodical. They, they want to get into their sets and create quality looks and also have floor balance. I'd be surprised if we see a ton of fast break opportunities tonight. Now here's Lillard. Spins. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Wow, the skill of Lillard to get his shot through while getting the whistle. Hey, GA, how about Damian Lillard's time in Portland? 11 magnificent years. I mean, Kevin, arguably the best trailblazer of all time. Rookie of the year, then seven all-star appearances. Dame will always be a legend in the Rose City. from deep and he's good on the three ball Lillard's got five a downright lethal three point threat Lillard is someone defenders must stay attached to if they want to have any impact now here's Markinen pass to Hendricks back to Markinen outside for Sexton just three to shoot from deep three-point land. That's the Kumbo pulls it in. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. That one goes in. Oh, you love to see Gary Trent Jr. put it on the deck, slice through the defense off that drive. Stop it, Gary. Now, here's Sexton. Outside, George. Pass to Markinen. That ball is nice speed that time from Jordan. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The Bucks have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Trent finds Middleton. Shoots over Markinen. Middleton can't get it to go. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. The Bucks with a quick start to this game. Inside. Here's Lopez. Can't hit from in close. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Markinen can't get it to go. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Here's Trent. Banked in off the glass. Oh, defense trying to get physical and shake up Gary Trent Jr. He's not having any of it. George against Lillard. George dishes to Markinen. Here's Hendricks. Fires the three. The Jazz with another miss. Lillard outside. Now, here's Adedekumbo. A rebound by the Jams. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Now, Will Hardy talked to me a little while ago. I asked him what his team needed to do in order to contain Giannis and the Coach told me we have to make sure to communicate and help out on defense. 
specifically clogging up and taking away a lanes for the rim. That's how he can really hurt you. Of course, it'll be an all-hands-on-deck-tonight approach trying to stop the Greek freak. Guys? Thank you, David. Good on the show. Aggressive move by Lillard, attacking the heart of that defense. Jazz trail by six. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. And Will Hardy is called timeout. He wants to talk to his guys. Attention fans, on the court now, your high squad. Get loud and let them hear it. Are you ready? It's t-shirt giveaway time. First quarter play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Outside, marking it. Sexton against Trent. Five on the clock. The shot by Sexton, no good. Bucks leading by six. And great two seasons ago, the Bucks ranked first in defensive rating. Last season, they dropped down to number 19. Yeah, shifting defensive schemes coaching changes, also swapping Drew Holiday for Damian Lillard. But they can and should be better than 19. Jacks up a three. Nailed from three-point land. And this is why people like to play with Mr. Markkinen. This guy is a solid passer out of that forward spot. Markkinen against Middleton. Pass to Lopez. Out to the wing. Lopez is screen on George. Three-pointer Lillard. Collins grabs the miss. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Here's the screen. George with no one around. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Here's Giannis. Rebound, Utah. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Sexton kicks to George. Nice ball movement by Utah. And Collins gets double teamed. Sexton against Andrikumbo. Shoots from the high post. A shot by Sexton, no good. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. Lillard, the pass to Middleton. Here's Trent. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Trent's got six. How about the floater? Folks, the floater's a tough shot, but Gary Trent Jr. makes easy work with it right there. And Will Hardy calls timeout here. He's ready to talk things through with the team. You know, Greg, thinking back to the glory days in Utah, they went to back-to-back -back finals in 97 and 98. Unfortunately, though, Kevin, that, that Stockton Malone era, they just couldn't overcome the dynastic goal. The Jazz still searching for that first NBA title. Right, he's checked in for the Bucks. Sexton deciding where to go with it. A screen on right. Lock at six. Kicks it out to Markinen. George, that's a two-pointer. 
and it's good off the bat. Three man in. That's just great recognition from your big man, right? Markinen is going to find the open teammate and put it on time and on target. I love this guy's passing skills. Now here's Middleton. Still yet to score. Hope has a screen. Middleton against Markinen. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton. And the Bucks lead by five. It's difficult trying to throw Middleton off his rhythm. Remarkable job staying with that shot. Here's Hendricks. The open look here for Sexton. Off target with his three. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Now here's Giannis. Markinen pulls it in. Pass to Sexton. Oh, and there's the alley. -oop. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Right outside. Now here's Lopez. No good from outside. Parking in against Middleton. Sexton. And it's sent back by Lopez. Oh, the long arms of Brooke Lopez effortlessly sends that back. And that one is good by Giannis. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. They're contesting shots and, and have also come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooter. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. Here's George, following the basket by Giannis. It is good. And nice touch inside. George can finish from all three levels. Marking in against Middleton. Lopez a screen on Markinen. A shot by Middleton, wide open. Sinks the triple. Middleton. Middleton's got five now. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Collins setting the big for George. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. You can't just stop when there's a pick set. Gotta fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. What's up? Name a type of shot. Keontae George can hit it. More than capable of scoring at all three levels. Alert against George. Launches from deep. The rebound by the Jams. Yeah, it's close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Williams dishes to Clarkson. grabs the miss. Giannis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, you were talking about Giannis. He can put up 30 a game without taking many shots from the perimeter. That's a tall order these days, especially because he gets doubled every single time. First trip to the line for him here. special is how uncomplicated he is. The man is just an incredible, pure athlete who simply loves the game of basketball. That's all there is to it. The Jazz making a switch here. Sensible is checked in. Milwaukee also making some changes. Bobby Portis is checked in for Lopez. And Middleton subbed in for Prince.
And both free throws good for Giannis. Now, well, Greg, it took 40 years, but the Bucks finally won their second NBA title back in 2021. Yeah, Kareem leading that 71 squad. Giannis was the man in 2021, averaging 35 and 13 during the finals, closing out the Suns with that 50 piece in game six. And Milwaukee has possession after the basket by Utah. Middleton finds right. Two minutes remaining in the first. Port is a screen on Clarkson. Right, the pass to Portis. And he gets the bucket. Bobby, Portis. And the Bucks lead by five. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Pass to Williams. Back to Clarkson. Kessler, the screen. To the middle. Great D that time from Portis. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. And you overplay Middleton to shoot the J. This is what he can do. Utah's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Kessler's setting the pick for Clarkson. And Kessler throws it down. A signature slam from the big fella. We've seen a few of those before. Here's Hansa Takumbo, and the shot goes down. Giannis has got six. And his athleticism comes through in all kinds of ways. You've got to be nimble to make moves like Giannis. Clarkson outside. Utah shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And he makes the first. A different look for Utah. Lowry Marketing comes in for Williams. And it's Collier in for Colin Sexton. The box also changing it up. Prince comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Pat Connington in for Lillard. And both free throws good for Clarkson. There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Middleton outside. Shoots over Markinen, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. And with great positional size, Middleton knows how to do damage down low. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Pass to Markinen. Slam ball and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It goes on Chris Middleton. Boy, doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage. It just goes to work. The Jays shoot their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. What's up? Free throw, no good for Markinen. What I'm always impressed by, guys, is Markinen's versatility. The guy can face up and make jump shots. He can be enough of a presence on the interior that you're very comfortable with him in this modern NBA game. Here's Middleton. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Chris Middleton has been on display for the Milwaukee Bucks. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll get you back to the action after this break. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. 
And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Utah Jams. It's a five-point game. So with Lillard on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. They've got Torrey and Prince. Bobby Porter's out there with Chris Middleton. Then there's Pat Connaughton. And it's right in at the point. And here is Portis. After Jordan Clarkson hitting the three. Portis, the pass to Middleton. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. It seems every season, Doris, we have players speak out on being unhappy with their role. Well, consider, Kevin, that if you're one player on a roster in the NBA, how coveted each of those spots are, but also how competitive they are. You don't get there without that nature, which means you want to play. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin, the Bucks are still trying to perfect their chemistry. Bobby Portis says, things take time. You've got to keep continuing to build it. There's another level Dame and Giannis can get to, just making it clockwork. Them continuing to get better at it opens the floor for everyone else on the court. Kevin? Well, David, with those two guys, Dame and Giannis, it opens the floor up a lot. Hey, thanks for the report. And Utah making a change here. Williams has checked in. Markkinen drops them both. Milwaukee in the lead. Right, the pass to Middleton. For three, Portis knocks down the three ball. Portis has got his second bucket of the night. The correct decision by Middleton moving to his wide open teammate, Chris, a terrific passer off the wing. Sends a ball. And here's Clarkson. Back loose and stolen by Wright. Here's Middleton. Prince with a screen on Clarkson. Here's Wright. It's hauled in by Sends ball. Jazz trail by five. Williams finds Clarkson. Now, Kessler. To the paint. There's Markinen. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Well, get the ball and go to work. Markinen using his size to great effect inside. Portis sets the pick for Middleton. Markson against Wright. Shot off. Utah has gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Outside, marking it. Back to Clarkson. And there's the shot dunk to finish it off. This guy is more than capable of making that play. Jordan Clarkson confident around the cup. Portis a screen on marking it. Here's Middleton. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick, no rotation. My goodness. Here's Clarkson after the basket by Milwaukee. Oh, trying for it. And that'll be Utah as it goes out of bounds. Jack and Jack possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Trent's checked in for Milwaukee. Outside, George. Four on the shot clock. Shoots over Connaughton. And the shot falls short this time. Bucks leading by three. Prince in the corner. Or the three. The rebound by the Jams. 
Collins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Markinen. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Ball. And the Bucs make it a change here. Lillard to check in. Damian Lillard. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Prince. Outside Portis. The three. Hits it from three-point range. Portis. Portis has got a pair of triples in the second now for Milwaukee. When you watch Torrey and Prince play, you know it's about team. This guy finds the open man and timeout, loves timeout. delivering it. And Will Hardy is called timeout. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Get ready, everybody. Give yourself a round of applause. Passes to George. Back to Markinen. Kicks it out to Cohen. Outside, George. Jazz passing it around. Yep, it goes in. And the Milwaukee lead is going down now to just three in the basket from Collins. And you love how instant Collins' shot can be. Gets a pass and wastes no time in releasing it. Now here's Lillard. He's got seven over George. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the jam. Pass to George. Collins, a screen on Lillard. Just five on the clock. And stolen by Lillard. Trent with it. Back to Lillard. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Jazz trail by seven. George looking around. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. And that's just an, taking advantage of some soft defense on that drive. A little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Shot from the wing. And Damian Lillard again. Lillard's got the lead up to seven now for the Bucks. Some nights, Lillard can just keep going and going. Lillard against George. Clarkson for three. The rebound by Middleton. Milwaukee has gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Portis kicks to Middleton. Pass to Trent to the middle. And Portis throws it down. Portis. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. It's just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And Utah has possession following the bucket by the Bucks. Six to shoot. Down low. Kessler, no good. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 13 to five run. Pass to Prince. Now Middleton. Kicks it out to Lillard. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Good on the three-point shot. Clarkson's got eight here in the quarter. A, a fine shooter from D. Clarkson has a good feel for when to let it fly. Alert against George. Middleton outside to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Jazz trail by six. Mark 
Harkonnen passes to Clarkson. This to me is when Clarkson is at his best, when he's pushing the action, being aggressive. It carries over to the rest of the team, guys. And these are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Free throw shooting, not an area he has worried about at all. How about last year? 88% from the line. Two shots. Throw good, Clarkson. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line, not missing their chances when they get them. A different look for Utah. Hendricks is checked in, and it's Cowan Sexton in for Markinen. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. And both free throws good for Clarkson. Milwaukee leading by four. Giannis outside. Back to Lillard. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That one on Collins. Yeah, Lillard has those hooks. He can get to the rim when he wants to. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Walker Kessler, he's checked in for the Jams. The free throw drops for Lillard. Jazz trail by seven. And here's George. Nine points in the game so far. Kessler passes to Sexton. High arcing shot, and it's good on the way in. And that's a big time fearless move from Colin Sexton. Put it home, young sir. Giannis outside. Giannis with the dunk and throwing it down hard. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two hand slam. And George kicks to Sexton. Outside, George. Inside, wants to get it to Kessler and does. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. It's on Bobby Portis. Really, uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. The Jazz have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Portis a screen on George. Three-pointer Lillard. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Prince. Pat Connaughton. Off the inbound, and with that, the Bucks lead is up to just seven on the basket from George. Boy, that's a bang-bang play on the inbounds pass. I like those quick hitters. Brent against Sexton. Now, here's Trent. T right on him. Outside Portis. Just five to shoot. Connaughton sets a screen for Giannis. Shoots from the elbow. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Giannis has got the lead back up to nine now for the Bucks. 
George passes to Kessler. Pass to Hendricks. Sexton on the wing. Defended by Trent. Was shot by Sexton. No good. Bucks leading by nine. Now Lillard. Defended by George. Lillard. Bounce pass. Giannis. Oh! oh. An amazing athlete. The, the length, speed, uh, the Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. Two minutes remaining. He has about 8 or 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. Pass to Kessler and stolen by Portis. There's the lob at the set up and the slam by Giannis. And if you're looking to make a big play with the pass, you've got to love Giannis. He's a big target on those alley oop lobs. Outside Collins. Here's Hendricks. The trade. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Lillard, the pass to Trent. Back to Lillard. The layup fall. Lillard. Lillard's got 21. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Now, here's Collins. Outside, George. Kessler is screen on Lillard. The three from George. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got his sixth rebound on the night to the inside. Rebounded by the Jazz. Collins has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Hendricks, defended by Trent. Hendricks passes to George. Sexton against Lillard. Clock at four, inside. Can they get it? Kessler. No good. Giannis high post. Shoots the three. And there's Lillard. That's good. On the assist by Antetokounmpo. Giannis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. A court side as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, it seemed like you all were dictating tempo in the first half. How did you do that? Okay, we're getting stops, grabbing the rebound now, it's trying to push and try to get the best shot available. Problem solved in transition. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Hey, direct your attention to Senate Court. And get ready for the fan half-court shot. Give me a beat. They're thinking about this shot. With the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Really an incredible game from Lillard. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. 
And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. The guard pair, it's George and Sexton. Then it's Lowry Markkinen. Then it's John Collins. And it's Hendricks in at the fourth spot. And that's the group for Will Hardy as they begin the second half. Now here's Markkinen. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. And Adetokounmpo's size, yeah, no man. doubt a huge factor, a master at getting up to block shots. And the Jazz with possession here. They trail by 18. The shot by Sexton, no good. And it's Trent in the corner. The three-pointer, no good. Utah is shooting 43% from the floor. Sexton's shot is good. You love this. The pressure gets physical, and Colin Sexton doesn't blink. Nice job finishing through contact. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And to Lillard, launches it. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Giannis has got assist number five here tonight. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And a lot of players might have passed that shot up. Not Collins. He stays aggressive and draws the foul. And that one falls for Collins. And so Collins nails both of them. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Trent outside. Floats it up for Giannis. Stolen by Collins. George with the ball. Lillard picks him up. George passes to Collins. Back to George. Shot clock at six. There's a screen by Collins. And that one's good. George. George has got 14 points for the game. And developing that three ball shot, George is putting in the work now. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, thanks. It's important to remember Damian Lillard was a two-star prospect coming out of high school in Oakland. He says that the doubt I faced, what I found is I have true belief in myself. I poured a lot in and just continued to work. That's why when I struggle, I never waver because I know that I'm true to it. Eventually, I'm going to have my time. Kevin? I think they call that game time. Hey, David, thank you. For a seven-footer, Brooke Lopez is pretty versatile. You, you get all the defensive impact you'd expect, but he can also consistently score on all three levels. Now, here's Sexton. Left side, Collins. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal foul. Second For Utah, they have been getting it done at the line. Ten for twelve. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. And it's 
Willard with the ball. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Lopez kicks to Trent. A floater, and there it is for him. Trent's got eight points. Well, Trent Jr. has a reputation of being a shooter, but don't sleep on his athletic ability and skill. Nice time finish out, inside. Out. And Will Hardy is called timeout. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Cowan setting the big for Markkinen. Rebound, Milwaukee. Andre DeCumbo's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Over George. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Jazz trail by 18. Outside, Sexton. Middleton against Markkinen. And that one, good. He's got 13. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team. But he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Trent finds Lillard. Lopez from long range. A rebound by the Jams. And you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. George against Trent. George up top. 14 points for him. He gets that one. George has got 16. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Pass to Middleton. Lopez outside. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists tonight. It catches people off guard to see what a smooth stroke Lopez has for a big fella. Here's Hendricks. Five points in the game. Outside, George to the middle. Here's Markkinen. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. There's a lot to deal with when you're talking about Markkinen. This guy is skilled at seven feet, can put it on the deck. This guy's just a very difficult guy to guard. Bucks leading by 14. Middleton the pass to Trent. And stolen by Sexton. Got a piece of it. And he recovers it. Here's Hendricks. And the three off target. Bucks have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Trent can't hit. Utah has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Lillard against George. Shoots over Lillard. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Milwaukee's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. And Middleton kicks to onto the Kumbo. And the Bucks miss again. Jazz trail by 14. Sexton and the rejection by Anadokounmpo loads it up for Giannis takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down 
chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, the, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Now, here's George. He's got 16. The Jazz working the ball around now. Marketing. That's it. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Well, we know Marketing can flat score the basketball. And right now, he's got his rhythm going. Lillard with it. He's got 27. Over George. Lillard misses. And so, Sexton will bring it up for Utah. It's a 14-point game. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Bucks have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Giannis outside. Lillard outside. At Giannis. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got his fourth assist in this one. Utah's got the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Bounce pass Collins. Pass to Markinen. No points on that miss. Puts him at seven for 13 from the floor. Lillard surveying the D. Count it. Lillard's got five points now this quarter. And there's an edge to Lillard's game. He's fearless. And you can see it when he's finishing in traffic. Hendricks passes to George. Here's Hendricks. Outside, marking it. Collins, a screen on Middleton. Shot clock at five. Markinen down low. Defended by Middleton. And there's the bucket for Markinen. Always helps to get these kinds of looks, right? Super easy to convert from that distance. Middleton left side. Trent kicks to Giannis. Cranes the three-pointer. Giannis the kumbo has got 21. Three. And we see this often now from Giannis. His offensive repertoire has become so versatile. Pass to Hendricks. Arkin in with it. A screen on Middleton. And it's sent back by Lopez. Here's Giannis. Giannis dumps it down. And on the drive, Giannis, he, he can be so disruptive, just muscling his way through the defense. Pass to Hendricks. And here's Sexton. And Gary Trent gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Right, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Substitution on the court. Here's Kessler. The shot misses. Good D by Lopez. A slam dunk by Giannis. Antetokounmpo. Giannis will take on any defender. Nice finish that time. George against Lillard. George passes to Kessler. Lillard against George. Clarkson for three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Pass to Lopez. Middleton against Clarkson. The kick out to right. Six on the shot clock. Launches a three. Kessler with the rebound. Utah has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here's Clarkson. 12 points for him. Over Middleton. Here's Kessler. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Second chance points always hurt. It's not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Man, that jumper on balance and on point. Lillard working over that medium right here. 
Clarkson passes to Williams. Out to Clarkson. And George now top of the key. Makes it off the glass. And that's now 18 points from Keontae George. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Right outside. Back to Lillard. Goes up to the strike. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And the shot first mindset of Lillard. When he sees an opening in the defense, he's looking to attack. Outside, Sexton. Clarkson up top, defended by Middleton. Clarkson dishes to Williams. Over onto Nakumbo. Williams can't get it to go. Bucks leading by 23. Lillard outside. Onto Nakumbo, a screen on George. Lillard finds Lopez. Middleton on the wing. He's covered by Clarkson. And it's sent back by Kessler. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. The Jazz making a switch here. Sensa Ball is checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Javi Portis is checked in for Brooke Lopez. The Jazz shooting 39% from the floor since the half. Not really what they had in mind. Now, here's Clarkson. 12 points for him. Sexton on the wing. And he gets it back. Sexton can't get that one to drop. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We come back right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. The guard and off guard are Lillard and Trent. Trent's out there with Bobby Portis. And it's Connaughton in at the three slot. And here's Clarkson. Outside, marking it. Right side, Williams. Connaughton. That's his first personal ball. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Bucks. Great job by this team closing out, blocking a bunch of shots, and just a tremendous effort defensively. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. And he knocks down the first one. Shots good from the strike. Now Trent. No, check Gary. Pass to Connaughton. Now Lillard. Floats one. And it's sent back by Kessler. Here's Clarkson. From down in the low post. It goes. Jordan Clarkson showing he's capable of finishing inside. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Outside Portis. Three-pointer Lillard. The rebound by the Jams. Kessler's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And that one good from Clarkson. Oh, slick move by Clarkson. Getting around that inside contact to finish the shot. 
Clarkson against Lillard. Connaughton sets a screen for Lillard. Kessler with the rebound. Kessler's got his sixth rebound on the night. Williams kicks to Clarkson. Pass to Sensabaugh. No good on the three. Bucks leading by 20. Connaughton passes to Portis. Epic counts. And that's 15 points for Bobby Portis. And that's just cold blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Nobody near Williams. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Listen, Williams. even average three-point shooters are going to make that shot. Defense must be better. Trent kicks to Connaughton. Three-pointer Lillard bangs home the trifecta. Lillard. Lillard's got 36. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Now, here's Clarkson. Here's Sensible. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Here's Trent. Here's Portis. It's all been by Sensible. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Shrugs off the contact and dunks it. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, that's about the free of Gary Trent Jr. He can take any amount of contact, and that frame will hold up. Nicely done. George has checked in for the Jazz. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Lopez, he's checked in for Pat Connington. What's up? What you love about Gary Trent Jr., guys, is here, here's a guy who not only excels from the three-point line, yes, he's a consistent guy stretching the floor, but his fearlessness, his willing to take big shots in tight spots, that is something to behold. Here's Sensible. Arkin and down low. Working on Portis. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go from deep. Arkin and can't get it to go. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Trent passes to Lillard. To the paint. And Lopez throws it down. Known for his scoring. There, Lillard with a fantastic pass in that screen and roll. For Utah, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Here's Kessler. Pass to Clarkson. Back to Kessler. Lopez with the steal. Prince in the corner. Back to Lillard. Over George. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Utah has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Back to Clarkson. Kessler's setting the pick for Clarkson. That ball is nice speed that time from Jordan. 18 points for Jordan Clarkson. Bucks leading by 22. Lillard with it. Portis is screen on George. Lillard outside. Six to shoot. Tries it from the top of the key. A rebound by the Jams. Outside, George. Here's Markinen. And Markinen throws it down. This is a seven footer with some big time vertical. Markinen makes that look effortless. Trent outside. Back 
to Lillard for three. That one misses. Jazz trail by 20. Pass to Sensabaugh. Prince grabs the miss. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Down low, here's Lillard. An easy two points on the layup. Lillard. Lillard's got 38 points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now, here's Markinen. Pass to Zenzibar. Clarkson outside. Kessler's setting the pick for Clarkson. And the shot goes in. Clarkson's got 20 points. Well, pick your poison. Jordan Clarkson is proficient in the pick and roll game, and he's basically saying, what do you want to give me? I'm going to take time advantage. Out, and Doc Rivers has called a timeout. There was no hesitating. He wants to talk to the team right now. Get lost, man. On the court is your high squad. Get there. Get on your feet. So it's both teams making their substitutions here. Middleton finds Lopez. Bucks passing it around. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. Second How about the foul. attack there from Giannis inside, going right into the defense and still able to get the shot up. Shooting two. Throw good, Giannis. One is no good. Jazz trail by 21. And stolen by Lillard. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. And it's blocked. Outside, marking it. Pass to George. Back to Markinen. George with a screen on Middleton. Five to shoot. Markinen kicks to George. Here's Collins. It's hauled in by Giannis. Onto Dekumbo's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after him. That one good for two. Giannis has got 14 points here in the second half. And you love watching Giannis operate inside. So assertive and forceful. Outside, marking it. The Jazz with another miss. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. Pass to Lopez. Marking in against Giannis. Lillard outside. Now here's Lopez. On the dunk by Lopez. Lopez. Boy, you love Lopez's effort. This guy dunking is easy for him, right? He's close to the rim, seven foot. Come on now. Marking in a screen on Lillard. Hendricks passes to Markinen. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Markinen's got four points now in the quarter. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Hey, yo, right here. Giannis outside. 
Middleton with a screen for Lillard. And the three ball is good. Lillard's got 41. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Well, credit the offense, though. If you're going to come with casual defensive effort, this team's responsibility is to take advantage, and they do. And Lillard throws it down. Lillard. Oh! Is Dane trying to get in the dunk contest? Looked like it on that incredible finish. For Utah, they've gone 8 of 13 for the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Hendricks passes to George. Shoots over Lillard. A nice shot by George. And that's now 20 points from Keontae George. Trent outside. Here's Giannis. And Giannis up to Kumbo. Throws it down hard. Contact just doesn't matter against Giannis. Once he's inside, he is not to be stopped. Outside, marking it. A minute 50 left in the fourth. Wants to get it to Collins and does. Outside, George. A rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got his fourth rebound in this one. Lillard against George. Here's Giannis. Good. Great play Giannis by Lillard to set it up. Ball. Lillard's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Bucks. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out... Uh, kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Damian Lillard. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for them. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Hendricks can't get it to go. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Middleton is doubled to the paint. Lopez kicks to Trent. They get the rebound. He goes up again. And Antetokounmpo lays it in. Giannis has got 34 points. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions and enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? I don't care what the matchup is. You'd never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Giannis. Great individual performance. I guess you're going for another MVP, huh? Hey, you know, I try not to think about it that much. Uh, my mind says do my job, do whatever it takes to help my team win, and uh, all I get about is I've got to win. Love the humble brag, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks. All right, David, thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And as we leave you, we give you our player of the game, Damian Lillard.